So this is your opening screen of the register at the book fair. Um, if you see this screen, the first thing that you have to do is press sales and that will take you to the screen where you will scan items, but you also have lots of uh, ways of looking things up. So you can always type in the number of a barcode or search for something right in the computer if something won't scan or if it doesn't have a barcode on it for some reason. So when you're ready to start a transaction, you scan, simply scan each item. And each time you scan, the item will come up on the screen. So let's just scan the next item. And it comes up on the screen. And scan your final item. And it also comes up on the screen. So at this point, you will be able to see what the total is without tax, the subtotal, which is $29.97. So you could always tell the customer how much their total is and make sure they have enough, especially if it's a student. And if they don't have enough, these nice little X's that are beside each price, you can just tap one of those X's and it will take away various pieces of the transaction. But if the total is good, then you just click check out. We always press the school button and that will take the tax off. So each transaction is tax exempt. So after you uh, press um, check out, you're gonna go to school and then it gives you this confirm check out button. So you click confirm check out and it will often ask if they want to round up to the nearest dollar to just donate some extra money uh, to the library. Most of the time it's just a couple of pennies. Um, so you can always ask people yes or no. So if you say yes, it'll add that two cents to the total. So their new total is $20. And now you have the pay option. You can see over here to the side, there are many options for how to pay, but the most common ones are going to be credit card or cash. Some people will use a check and very rarely there will be an e-wallet, which is where parents have set up an account for their child. Um, so you just choose which one of these they're paying by and follow the instructions on the screen. So if it says cash, <clears throat> you can type in exactly what they gave you and press pay. Um, it gives you some options at the top if they give you exact change, a 20 or 25, or you can type in the amount and click pay. And then it's gonna tell you the um, amount of change. If you do check, it's going to um, automatically put the total, but if they write the check for more, you can change the amount, but most people are gonna write the check for the total amount. Checks are made to Barrow Elementary. And then when you click pay on this, the only other thing it asks you is to put the number of the check, which is just up in the top corner of the check. Okay, once you do that, you click continue and it will take you to the end where you print your receipt. And then for our credit card, you just press credit card. It's gonna automatically put the total that's down here at the bottom. So if you won't really need to change that total. Um, and then you just put card <clears throat> and then it's going to give them instructions on the other side of the screen you will put the card in chip first into this slot and then they will follow the instructions on the other side of the screen which is going to ask them to sign their name just with their finger and they will um, click accept and it'll ask to remove the card and then it will take you through the final steps of printing the receipt. So the register really walks you through every step along the way. So I'm gonna click cancel on this one because I'm not gonna run this transaction. The final one is an e-wallet, which is a very rare thing. But when you click on e-wallet, you can search for students in the computer who have an e-wallet set up and you can click on their name and it'll take the money out of their account. If you have any questions, there's always this easy start guide right here that will take you step by step through different parts of a sale, whether you did cash or check or credit card or e-wallet. All of the instructions are right there 
Um, and of course, I'm usually here in the library too to help, so it's very a very rare event that you're at the register without having me nearby to answer a question if you get stuck. So hopefully this is helpful in letting you know kind of what to experience at the cash register um, for helping with our book fair.